Hello folks and welcome. So Zorin OS 16.3. Today I'm going to be talking about custom colorful icons. Not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, if you are wanting to decorate your XFCE desktop for Zorin, um, I'll show you how to do that. And uh, more importantly, you can have a little bit of fun doing it at the same time. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in today. And you can adjust your uh, YouTube player accordingly if need be. So um, I'm actually going to be using a candy icon set today. And uh, this uh, mouse pointer or cursor is, is called radioactive. I'm just going to use that for a highlighter. I, I do that with a lot of videos lately because it, uh, it has some, uh, well, it's got some nice features. In either, in either case, folks, um, actually, I'm just going to point out the name of my user. It's just a made up name. And this is the XFCE desktop, so Alton F4. So the first thing you may notice that the um, icons on the panel bar is a little different. That's actually Firefox. And it operates the same way. And I'm going to be coming back to this because I'll show you where to get this set. You'll also notice that these icons are a little different. So uh, if I open up my accessories, you get the idea. I'll open up settings. All right, so um, nothing's perfect, but more importantly, I will just point out the fact that uh, I am using candy icons. So that's some of the icons that are in here. Again, it's not everybody's cup of tea. You may not like them, um, but I'm going to also give you some other options. I'll at least show you how to install some other options. All right, so uh, we, we know we can go to the appearance section and uh, you can do a simple theme here and you can see that I got the candy icon lit up. And uh, where do you get these things? Well, let me first talk about that. So I'll go on to and open up a web browser and I'll go full screen by double clicking. So if you're on my YouTube site, and hopefully you're our subscriber already, uh, go to the About section, scroll down a little bit, and find gnome-look.org, and go uh, open that up. And you can walk over to the uh, Theme section. So this mouse cursor also came from the same location. This one's called Radioactive, and it's in the Cursor section. Anyways, go find the uh, GDK 3 and 4 themes and then just open that up. Now, if you don't like the one that I'm about to show you, there's lots of other ones that are listed by latest and ratings and you can give them a try. Not everything is perfect again, okay? So I'm gonna type in candy up here in the search bar. And what you're looking for is candy icons, if you're wanting to set, and this is what they look like. I haven't opened up my file manager, but you'll see that they look exactly like this. And there's only one file because I'm going to be opening up the actual file manager in a second. So it's one file. You just download it. Okay. So as soon as that gets done, you click that and you'll end up with a file in your file manager. That, that's what the icons look like. And again, hopefully you've seen some of my videos, how to resize stuff on the fly, holding down that control key on the keyboard. And if you're using a computer, uh, sorry, USB based mouse, that is a scroll wheel. You can scroll forward and backwards to resize. Anyways, that's what you want. And right click, extract the actual icon. So what do you do with it afterwards? Uh, that's the trick though, how to install it. All right, so I would normally right click and cut it. Then I would go to my home folder, whatever the name of your user is, and turn on hidden files and folders. Show hidden files, control H. Control H is actually a very common command with most modern file managers. What is this one? This is Thunar. Thunar is the file manager for the XFCE desktop environment. Your icon will look different. All right, in either case, Control H does this. It shows hidden files and folders. Now, what I did was I created this folder manually, dot icons, right click, and uh, you can 
create a folder, sorry. Right click, create folder. So what's in this folder? There's only two things. Radioactive is the name of this mouse pointer or cursor. That's in here, but so is the candy icons. I got it directly from downloads. All I did was cut it, go over to here, sorry, not computer, this one, and paste it in here. Then open up your settings, go to the appearance section, go to the icons and you'll find it in the menu. And then you can just click it and start using it. Again, if you find you don't like it, pick a different one, download a different one. Keep in mind, I'm gonna go back to my website, YouTube site, YouTube site, and go to the about section and then go back over to gnome-look. And then you have all kinds of themes you can pick from. I'm sure you can find something out of that 1500. Not all the themes will work for you, but a lot of them will. Again, this is all up to you. You can uh, decorate your Zorin a little bit this way. And if you find you don't like the theme, you want to try something different or you want to revert back. May I make a suggestion to you just before you click and change these things. Make a screenshot. All right, so type in SC. There's the screenshot tool. Your icon will look different. But do the active window. It doesn't matter if the tool is on top. So I'm going to snap the picture of this thing. It's, I'm going to lay it right on top of this thing. And uh, I'm going to do a save command. And where do you want to save it to? Well, I'm going to save mine to the desktop just so I can show these to you. All right. The screenshot is just today's date and time. That's the first one. If you decide to change this area, whatever is highlighted is what you're currently using. Another screenshot. You can also put this tool on your desktop temporarily if you want. You can always delete it. I'm going to still use the active window. Same deal. And save. And also, it just defaults to the last place you saved, which in this case is desktop. Now I'm going to close that. Now I can clearly see that I'm using Zorin Blue Light for my style and for my icon set, candy. This is for you, you folks that, well, unless you got a super great memory, I would suggest screenshots before you do something like this. And then, you, of course, you can always cut them and put them in a folder. I'm going to do both. Yes, you can drag a box around both of them. I'm going to cut both of these guys out, open up my file manager, turn off my hidden, control H. And where do I want to put them? How about in pictures? I'll create a new folder called screenshots. Anytime you make changes to your system, you should always make screenshots. It's a good idea. I'll make these larger. So now you can see the thumbnails and I can resize those on the fly. What am I doing again? Holding down that control key while using my USB based mouse to scroll up and down. And then when I get it to the size I want, I let go of the control key. All right. In either case, you can see that uh, not everything is perfect, but these are definitely uh, something that if you do decide to use this, they may be a little bit different for you as far as getting used to. Not everything is perfect though. Just keep that in mind, but your icons will slightly change. Okay, so I'm just showing you some, some uh, things in here. All right, other than that, thank you for watching.